Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about group pancreatitis imaging. So before understanding of the group pancreatitis, first we have to understand some terminology. So, the is a form of chronic pancreatitis affecting pancreatical duodenal group, which is there are two forms. First one is two form, affect only pancreatitis. Cratico duodenal group and second form is segmental form affect pancreatic duodenal group and extend medially into pancreatic head. Pancreatic group is theoretical space defined by pancreatic head medially. Second portion of duodenum laterally, third portion of the duodenum and inferior vena cava posteriorly, and duodenal bowl superior. Often middle age, men with history of alcohol abuse, that is the cause. So let's see the first case. This is axial contrast enhanced CT, which showed subtle soft tissue sickening. Why slit arrow indicate in the pancreatic duodenal group as well as must lie pancreatic head? Why group curve arrow indicate? Enlargement with an internal cyst. Why open arrow indicated? This was fine to be segmental. Give pancreatic head involvement. Group pancreatitis at surgery. So this is the Segmental form of group pancreatitis. Another case. So, this is also the axial contrast intensity demonstrate a hypodense soft tissue mass black solid arrow indicator. In the pancreatic duodenal group with associated cystic space, black curve arrow, resulting in upstream pancreatic ductal dilatation, black open arrow. So this is the case of group pancreatitis. Another case of group pancreatitis we show in the coronal volume render contrast enhanced CT nicely demonstrate the hypodense soft tissue why solid arrow indicate in the pancreatic duodenal group with associated cystic space Why curve arrow initially suspected to represent malignancy 
which was found to be through pancreatitis at century. Another case, axial contraction and CT demonstrates subtle stranding and in duration, why slip arrow indicate in the pancreatic or duodenal group, which persisted on follow-up examination. So this is also the case of group pancreatitis. Another one, the axial contraction LCT in the same patient again demonstrate in duration wisely arrow indicate in the pancreatic or duodenal group initial we suspected to represent duodenal malignancy. It was found to be group pancreatitis at surgery. Again, the axial contraction hand CT, so four cause of issue sickening, why should the arrow indicate? In the pancreatic or duodenal group, which persisted over multiple follow-up study, there is also some plea why curve arrow indicate tracking from the group into the right anterior para renal space. Axial contraction and CT in the same patient, so sickening black solid arrow indicate in the group with several cis black curve arrow indicate present in the pancreatic hand. This was found to be group pancreatitis at surgery, but the presence of fluid tracking in the retroperitoneum is a typical and more common with acute edematous pancreatitis. Axial contrasted hand CT demonstrate four cause of tissue shaking by solid arrow indicate in the pancreatic duodenal group with multiple internal cystic space. Why curve? Yeah. So this is the case of group pancreatitis. Again, this is the same patient where we will look into the coronal volume render contraction and CT. So, focal soft tissue sickening, why solid arrow, in the pancreatic donor group with multiple internal cystic space, black curve arrow. While this was suspected to represent group pancreatitis, before procedure was performed to exclude underlying malignancy, a common outcome in this case. So, from the app, from the first case to this case, what we mentioned is the group pancreatitis in the CT where the apparent is really similar to the 
malignancy mass, which is usually need to be excluded. And usually confirmed by operation. Axial contraction and CT show a markedly distant storage and proximal duodenum, wide open arrow, secondary to gastric outlet obstruction. Not a band like soft tissue, sickening, wide solid arrow, in the group between the second duodenum and the pancreas. Characteristic of group concrepitis. More gautal contraction and CT in the same patient so that the lumen of the second portion of the renum wide open arrow is markedly narrowed by the adjacent soft tissue and there is a small cis wide curve arrow in the pancreatic group. Axial contrast enhanced CT so sickening of the major ball of the duodenum, luminal narrowing, and two small cis wide solid arrow. This was found to represent group pancreatitis as surgery. Axial contrast enhanced CT demonstrate a fibro inflammatory mass with calcification, wide solid arrow in the clean, center in the groove. The groove pancreatitis in the chronic setting, as in this case, can appear very similar to traditional chronic pancreatitis, include the presence of the calcification. Axial contrast enhanced CT, so low attenuation soft tissue signal in the group between the head of the pancreas and the second duodenum, wide solid arrow indicate, not the stand wide curve arrow in the common duct place due to barrier obstruction from the adjacent soft tissue. Axial volume are rendered contrast and in CT so that the hypodense soft tissue in case because of the no artery, wide solute arrow, a wide club arrow, and second, the major ball of the second dorino wisely are the case. So this is the what we find what we can find in the ultrasound of the twenty one. Yes, old man, with blue pancreatitis, so in the longitudinal view of the gray scale of the sun, so an ill-defined hypoechoic lesion, yellow arrow in the kit, in the group between the head of a fist and second portion, dorium, suggestive, Pangarai Dodino Pantratitis. We can call the group Pantratitis. The same patient in another view. Our cross section 
So a newly defined cystic complex by arrow indicate around the around the of second part of the new red arrow compress the lumen of the donut. Group one pancreatitis in the common eye. So image A. Is the axial and contain T1 which bad saturated imaging image and B is axial T2 which image and delay in hand T1 which bad saturated image we see. So image is so may are don't know for signaling with low signal intensity on T1 with image arrow indicate. Cystic intramural chain of the major donor wall better visible on T2H image arrow indicate and delay and hand of fibrotic tissue of the donor wall arrow indicate. Thank you.